Hello, my name is Xianwen Kong, a program co-director for the MSc in Robotics at Harriet Watt University. Welcome to my presentation about the MSc program in Robotics. Today, I'll give a brief introduction about Harriet Watt, Robotics at Harriet Watt, and the MSc program in Robotics. Harriet Watt was named after Scottish inventor James Watt and a Scottish goldsmith George Harriot. I believe that you have, will have heard about James Watt through his work on steam engines. The name of Harriot Watt implies that if you have money and power, you can succeed. Harriot Watt was founded in 1821 as the world's first mechanics institute. Now it's a leading research-led university with a rich heritage, as you can see from the data shown on this slide. Students at Harriet Ward have very high employment rates. This year, Harriet Ward is celebrating the 200th anniversary of its founding in Scotland. You are especially welcome to join Harold Ward on this special occasion. Harold Ward's Edinburgh campus is about six miles from the city centre of Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland and renowned for its heritage, culture and festivals. It is regularly voted as one of the most desirable places to live in the UK, with about 39% international students. Here is a short video of Edinburgh. The Edinburgh campus is located in a beautiful parkland. On the campus, we have Scotland's National Sports Performance Centre. Postgraduate centre guaranteed on-campus accommodation and a library. The picture on the right shows great, a new groundbreaking facility where students can build their prototypes. Regarding robotics at Harrowat, we have the National Robotarium, which is a multi-million pound hub being built at Harrowat University in collaboration with the University of Edinburgh. It will be the UK's leading innovation hub for robotics and autonomous systems for delivering cutting-edge research and support for business creation and growth. This slide shows several of the state-of-the-art robots that we have, such as humanoid robots and cobots, collaborative robots. One example research project in robotics is ORC, a multi-million pound program on completely autonomous offshore energy technologies. It is led by the Edinburgh Centre for Robotics in collaboration with Imperial College and the Universities of Oxford and Liverpool, as well as 30 industrial partners. Our MSc in Robotics provides students with training in core elements of modern robotics and autonomous systems so that they can be employed in any academic or industrial role. This program is unique since it is a joint program by two schools, the School of Engineering and Physical Sciences and the School of Mathematics and Computer Science. The program is based at Edinburgh Centre for Robotics. Many courses have individual and group projects. This slide shows the program structure of MSc in Robotics. A student is required to take four mandatory courses 
for optional courses and a project dissertation. For full-time study, the program can be completed in one year with three semesters. In addition to the one-year full-time mode of study, UK students can take the program part-time within two years. We are also developing a two-year full-time program with industrial placement. Project supervisors for our MSc Robotics students are members of the Edinburgh Center for Robotics. If you are interested, you can visit the website shown here for more information. Students on our MSc in Robotics program have received several awards, including the AWE Outstanding Performance Prize and the Best Project Prize. The entry requirements for this program include a qualification of 2-1 or above in mechanical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering, computer science, and other related programs. Students also need to meet the language requirements. For a complete list of acceptable language qualifications, please visit the link shown here. After completing the MSc in Robotics, students will have excellent career opportunities. They can work in many different sectors or go on to PhD study. For more information, please visit the link shown here. Thank you.